Saint Nicholas was a bishop who lived in the fourth century in a place called Myra in Asia Minor, now called Turkey. He was a very rich man because his parents died when he was young and left him a lot of money. He was also a very kind man and had a reputation for helping the poor and giving secret gifts to people who needed it. The most famous story about St. Nicholas tells how the custom of hanging up stockings to put presents in first started. It goes something like this. There was a poor man who had three daughters. The man was so poor that he did not have enough money for a dowry, so his daughters couldn't get married. A dowry is a sum of money paid to the bridegroom by the bride's parents on the wedding day. And this still happens in some countries, even today. One night, Nicholas secretly dropped a bag of gold down the chimney into the house. This meant that the oldest daughter was then able to be married. The bag fell into a stocking that had been hung by the fire to dry. This was repeated later with the second daughter. And finally, determined to discover the person who had given him the money, the father secretly hid by the fire every evening until he caught Nicholas dropping in a bag of gold. Nicholas begged the man to not tell anyone what he had done because he did not want to bring attention to himself. Ah, but soon the news got out, and when anyone received a secret gift, it was thought that maybe it was from Nicholas. Because of his kindness, Nicholas was made a saint. Saint Nicholas is not only the saint of children, but also of sailors. One story tells of him helping some sailors that were caught in a bad storm off the coast of Turkey. The storm was raging around them, and all the men were terrified that their ship would sink beneath the giant waves. They prayed to St. Nicholas to help them, and suddenly he was standing on the deck before them. He ordered the sea to be calm, and the storm died away and they were able to sail their ship safely to port. St. Nicholas was exiled from Myra and later put in prison during the persecution of Christians by the Emperor Diocletian, but he was released in the time of the later Emperor Constantine, who was a Christian. St. Nicholas attended the Council of Nicaea in 325. And no one really knows when St. Nicholas died, it was on the 6th of December in either 343, which seems to be the most probable, or 345, or perhaps 352. In 1087, his bones were stolen from Turkey by some Italian merchant sailors. The bones are now kept in the church named after him in the Italian port of Bari. On St. Nicholas' feast day, the 6th of December, the sailors of Bari still carry his statue from the cathedral out to sea so that he can bless the waters and so give them safe voyages throughout the year. In 1066, before he set sail to England, William the Conqueror prayed to St. Nicholas, asking that his conquest would go well. And so we wish you a happy feast of St. Nicholas.